Well, we talked a lot about absolute power today. Mm -hmm. but with absolute power is also absolute responsibility. Mm -hmm. So we know the buck stops with Roger Goodell. Here's the issue. The damage done to the reputation of Ezekiel Elliott, no matter what comes out of this, is Irreparable. never going to change. Nope. It's done. But what I've been saying this whole week is the damage that this does to domestic violence awareness by overcorrecting is far worse than everything else that we're discussing. What, it's so difficult to get people, once they've made a decision, to understand how serious it is. And uh, for those of you that don't know, I've survived domestic violence, horrible things. I've, I've, I've had someone uh, six foot two try to choke me and suffocate me at the same time, have thrown me downstairs, kicked me in my chest after dragging me out of the car. I can go on and on. So I know what I'm talking about. It's very difficult. I've been in that he said, she, she said situation. And believe me, the she said was 100% right. But it's very hard yeah. to prove it if it's just you and them. Mm -hmm. If there's a smoking gun, and I hesitate to say this because I understand that sometimes victims have things they don't want out there. But when you're dealing with public figures, when you're dealing with the repercussions that are on this level with the NFL and the amount of people that consume this product, if there's a smoking gun, it, it's time. Yeah. It's time. Here we are. You, it, it's time to put that forward and clear all this up. You can't come out with a six-game suspension for Ezekiel Elliott, Jerry Jones, the Dallas Cowboys. You know what the repercussions of this are. If there's something that we don't know about, and Ezekiel Elliott did this, just come out and say it. Say what it is. Suspend him. Go forward and show that you did the due process and that you were right in your decisions and that there was just dissenting opinions on her credibility because it's it, it's it's way the waters are way too muddied yeah. and what you're doing is you're convincing people that when women come out and say that they're abused that they're doing it for money they're doing it for attention they're doing it because they're they've been uh dumped and they want to get revenge you're overcorrecting and you're doing more damage than you mm -hmm. are good